In today's workout, we're going to be combining dumbbells and cardio to have a Metcon style workout. That means we're gonna be doing interval training with weights and the goal during each interval is to push ourselves as much as we can while maintaining perfect proper form. When I started doing more Metcon style workouts, my goal was to lower my resting heart rate and to improve my overall cardiovascular fitness. But cardio sometimes feels a little bit like a drag, but the more I started doing Doing this Metcon style training, the more I started to fall in love with it and fall in love with the results. Since Metcon training is very intense, we're only going to be doing three Metcon workouts a week. This is workout number one of the week. You can view the full playlist for the full series. If you stay consistent with these workouts, you are going to not only see the benefits, but you are going to feel the benefits. You may even experience a lower resting heart rate. Your body might feel less stressed and you might even feel lighter. If you have goals, to lose body fat, these workouts will also help assist you in that as well. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and hold a dumbbell in each hand by your side. From here, I want you to bend at the hips and when the dumbbell reaches your knees, you're gonna do a slight bend in the knee to bring the dumbbells as close as you can to the floor. Then I want you to use the back of your legs and your back to return to that standing position and repeat.
come down to a half kneeling position with a dumbbell in your hand facing your face. From here, I want you to press the dumbbell up overhead and as you're pressing it overhead, rotate your hand so that your palm is facing outwards at the top of this motion. position with a dumbbell in your hand facing your face. From here, I want you to press the dumbbell up overhead and as you're pressing it overhead, rotate your hand so that your palm is facing outwards at the top of this motion. Sitting on the floor, hold the head of one dumbbell with both hands and bring that dumbbell up over your head and slightly behind your head. Keep your elbows pinned to your side by your ears and bend your elbows to feel a stretch in the back of your tricep and then extend the bend. Take an outside of shoulder width stance and hold a dumbbell up at your chest. From here, you're gonna bend at the hips and knees and sit down as low as you can into a squat. If this bothers your knees, then just complete a quarter squat or sit as deep as you can without feeling pain and discomfort. Holding a dumbbell in each hand with your palms facing outwards, slowly curl the dumbbells up to your shoulders and slowly bring them back down. The entire time I want you to focus on keeping your elbows pinned to your sides.
down to all fours and slowly lift your knees slightly up off the floor. From here holding this position, we're gonna bring opposite hand to opposite shoulder doing shoulder taps. If that feels too advanced for you, you can hold this position with just having your knees hover above the floor. Keep that core engaged, you got this.
Take a staggered stance for this next exercise and hold a dumbbell in your hand and make a 90 degree angle with your elbow. Keep your elbow pinned to your side and extend your arm back to work your tricep. We're going to bend and extend the arm repeating on both sides. Take a staggered stance for this next exercise and hold a dumbbell in your hand and make a 90 degree angle with your elbow. Keep your elbow pinned to your side and extend your arm back to work your tricep. We're going to bend and extend the arm repeating on both sides.
I'm so proud of you for pushing through this workout with me today. We did day one of this new series. I want you to come back tomorrow and join me for the core workout. This is the second workout of the series in this playlist. Be sure to like this video and comment below how you're feeling so we can hold each other accountable and stick with each other on this journey. Let's do this.